thank you for the introduction, and uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk here. Uh, okay, today I talk about Chan classes in the modular setting. This is a joint work with Wataru Kai. Okay. Uh, I think algebraic case theory has been started from uh, the work by Groth and Dick on Chan classes, so uh, Lehman Loff. Do you agree? <laughs> uh, he has constructed the ch chunk, uh, uh, chunk classes from K0 of a variety to the Chow group. And he has shown that uh, the indus, uh, associated Chan character like this, is an isomorphism for uh, when x is smooth after tensor in the q. And uh, after Killen has uh, defined a higher k group, uh, Brock has co defined a higher Chow group and uh, constructed Chan, uh, Chan classes for higher uh, higher case group, CHI, higher to chi, higher child group. And again, uh, the induced Chan character uh, is an isomorphism. Ah, this is an isomorphism. When X is smooth over a field. Okay, so now we have a relation between K theory and algebraic cycles. Uh, however, still uh, this theory of cycles uh, fails to see a lot of things which K theory can do. So uh, this, this theory of cycles uh, fails to see. For example, uh, the difference of of x and uh, x reduced. Yeah, Kessler can catch that such difference or several non non A1 homotopy invariance, A1 homotopy invariant phenomena. So here is the question. Uh, is there cycle theoretical invariance, invariance which can catch this information? Information. Yes, this is a question. And uh, I think uh, the first attempt is done by Brock and Reno. Uh, they have uh, defined a higher additive, higher additive child groups, and uh, they compared them with relative Milner K groups. And uh, in a somewhat different direction, uh, Kurt Saito has uh, defined zero cycles with modulus uh, to prove their main theorem on wildly ramified cross field theory. And uh, these notions are, com uh, now these notions are combined into a single notion called the higher child group with modulus. With modulus. Uh, 
defined by being the site of. Uh, okay, here we give the definition of higher child group with modular definition. Okay, let K be a field throughout in this talk, and uh, let X be an equidimensional uh, K scheme of finite type. Of finite type. And let D be an effective Cartier divisor. On X. We call such a pair XD called modulus pair. Okay. Um, yes. So we define a group written like this to be a free Abelian group group generated by integral closed sub integral closed sub schemes. Of x times square to the n. Here, square is just p1 minus infinity. And uh, yes, uh, this is a free having group generated by cross the subic schemes of this scheme, uh, satisfying uh, phase condition, the phase condition. And the, and the modulus condition. Ah, sorry, it's, it is to be x minus d times square to the n. And uh, this is a group, uh, this group gener uh, divided by the de degenerate part. Uh, by degenerate part, I mean <coughs> Cycles coming from uh, x minus d times square to the n minus one. And he here, uh, okay, the phase condition is the usual one. Uh, uh, I should say the phase of square to the square squared looks like this. And the phase condition means uh, this subschemes meet uh, phases properly. And uh, uh, yes, now I explain the modulus condition. Modulus condition. Yes, for n equals zero, it just says the closure of a uh, subscheme. Let it denote the subscheme by v. The closure of v in x does not meet D, does not meet the support of D. For N equals one, uh, N, for N positive, uh, let V be the closure of X times P1 to the N, and let V N be its normalization, and uh, uh, denote the, this map by phi, then the modulus condition says uh, we, uh, there is an um, inequality of Cartier divisors, uh, uh, proof back of d times p1 to the n. x times uh, face at uh, infinity. And the last one is Like, like this. Okay, like this. This is a face at infinity. So, let's draw a simple, simple picture of 
modulus condition. Uh, ah, this is a definition. Ah, this is a definition of z i x d n. Okay. Uh, okay, let's draw a simple picture to explain modulus condition. Uh, here's x, here's d, uh, p1 here, the infinity, and the close, uh, in close sub scheme which satisfies modulus condition does not, uh, does not meet d uh, except, at, except at infinity. Uh, infinity point. At the infinity point, uh, we may meet D uh, with some multiplicity condition. It's something like that. It's too simple, but yeah, like that. Uh, okay, then uh, ZIXD forms a complex. Complex. That, and we define higher child group with modulus to be the homology of this complex. And we also need this Nevich vari uh, variant of this uh, higher, ch higher child group, Chaunis uh, XD N. This is defined to be the hypercohomology of uh, yeah Nisnevich hypercohomology of the complex defined above. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This complex forms a pressure uh, for small Nisnevich site uh, for for small et al site. Okay. It's, uh, so I mean, it's fun, uh, contravariant functorial for flat morphism. Okay, this is the definition. And uh, uh, contrary to the classical case, uh, these are not, uh, in general, these are not uh, isomorphic. Uh, so th this, is, this is one of the difficulty of this new theory. Okay. Uh, this is, here is our main theorem. Uh, our main theorem. Okay. Assume that x minus d is smooth over k. Then there uh, we have constructed natural maps. from relative k theory, we call this C and I, from relative k theory to Nisnevich higher child group with modulus for n i, for all n i, non-negative non n i, and which satisfies uh, when t is empty, g is coincide with blocks one. With blocks one. Block the chunk classes. For higher, higher case, higher child group. And uh, c and i with and positive uh, group of homomorphisms and satisfies satisfies uh, Whitney sum formula for n equals zero. Yeah. 
Yes. This is our main theorem construction. Is there any question so far? Zarsky version. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yes, uh, in the construction, I, uh, we have used the uh, moving lemma uh, for uh, in the modular setting, and this is only proved for Nisnevich topology, Nisnevich locally. So, uh, yes, I don't know. But at least it is impossible. I guess it's impossible to factor through a naive one. I mean, that just taking. Uh, uh, homology with uh, this discretely. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, and we expect uh, here's a conjecture. And Chan uh, Chan classes induces. Uh, uh, we have associated Chan character. Uh, and this is group homomorphism thanks to this uh, the second uh, property. Uh, we have it. Uh, sorry. And uh, yeah. Uh, yes, we have uh, when x be smooth. Yes, maybe. This as an associated Chan character is an isomorphism after tensor Q. And it may be better to consider the pro version. Uh, this is a, this is an isomorphism. So we may consider pro version. Yeah, MD is MS, uh, MS infinitesimal thickening of D, and uh, we may consider pro version. Oh. This is a pro isogeny, I mean, isom in the category of pro abelian groups up to isogenies. Uh, this is our expectation, conjecture. Yeah, for now, there's no general result. But yes. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Evidence. Evidence, E, S. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we have shown something for. Uh, yeah, I'll explain some evidence later uh, as an application of our construction. <laughs> but uh, yes, at least um, we have uh, an isomorphism between Picard group and uh, Chow group with modulus in, in the uh, in appropriate degree. Or uh, we may we also have some comparison between rel relative Milner K groups and uh, uh, additive higher char group. Uh, it it would, it may be an it is an example of this conjecture. It's a, but but in yeah, in general we, uh, we we don't have any general result for now for for the isomorphism. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is our goal. And, uh, okay. Uh, from here, let me explain the construction of Chang classes. Uh, this requires some new, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. So how can I explain? 
construction. We need uh, we use foreign notation. Uh, let MSM be the category of a modular sphere. So schemes with, uh, with an effective, effective Cartier divisor such that X minus D is smooth. And uh, amorphism XD to YE is a morph of a scheme XD which induces Ah, sorry, x to y, which induces amorphism of sub-schemes, d to e. And we end up MSM with the Nisnevich topology, with Nisnevich topology. Okay. And let MSM star be the subcategory of MS, MSM with the same object, same object, and flat morphisms. Morphisms. Then uh, cycle complexes. Uh, so cycle. The cycle complexes defines a pressure pressure on this side. MSM star, which we denote by GI LED. No, uh, just in this thing. Yeah. Uh, it, it's on X. I mean, it's uh, covering is uh, covering is, is the I, D U I, X D, such that U I is an which covering, and this is uh, pullback of D. Like this. Yeah, so, oh, okay. so yes, this this is a Nisnevich cover and uh, divisor is like this. So it just a uh, Nisnevich topology on based scheme X. Okay. We also have uh, some pressure by case theory, relative case theory, um, uh, by assigning xd to xd, kxd. Uh, this is a homotopy fiber, kx to kd. Yes, pressure. And uh, this gives a press shift, press shift on pre of spaces on uh, MSM. Okay, this is our notation, and uh, the first idea for the construction is uh, to use relative world in space. Let me explain this. Uh, let A be a commutative ring. And I be an ideal of A. Let sigma be a partial ordering on the finite set 
1 to r. Then we define t, t sigma a i to be the subgroup of g l and a, g l r a, generated by matrices a i j i j such that a i j is equal to delta i j Kronecker delta modulo i unless i is smaller than j with respect to sigma given partial ordering. So for example, for the standard ordering, it looks like a variant of triangular matrices. It looks like this. And uh, yes. We define relative world in space, X, R, A, I, to be the union of the classifying space of T sigma A, I for all sigma, partial on the orderings on, on this set. And here the union is taken in V, G, L, R, A. Okay. And it is known that the pi homotopy group of this relative borrowed in space, stable version of relative borrowed in space, as a plus construction, with, with the plus construction, is isomorphic to the relative k, theory, k group for, n, for positive n. This, this is proved by Suserin. And uh, yes, we use, yes. So now uh, by sending a uh, x d to x. R well, we have a pressive again. O X or D. It is a simple shell pressive. Pressive on our site MSN. And we will construct, we construct. a map from uh, x rel r to the eilenberg macron space of g i rel in the homotopy category of simply shall perceive on MSM star. Then Then by taking uh, Nisnevich hypercohomology, hypercohomology, and using the, this fact, we obtain the desired map. CH. So we, we construct this one. This map uh, can be regarded as chunk classes of this relative volume in space in some sense. So 
to make it precise, we work, uh, this is the second idea, we work in uh, category, work in the site, uh, msm star, fiber x xrl. Uh, in it, why uh, it does not work for? Uh, it's a uh, risky, you have Chalmers and Navich, right? We enrolled uh, Nisnevich topology on this side. And we are, con uh, we are considering Nisnevich locally. This is a homotopy category of simple shell pressures of it. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I believe. Yes, so we need Nisnevich topology for now. Okay, so we work such a category, such big category. Uh, this is uh, like uh, as, as follows. Uh, so let, let's see the small, small site, general small site for now. And the FB uh, simply shall press it. On X, on C, which, is, which may not be representable. Which, and then we define the, the site. Uh, Fiber over F as follows. The object so pairs x alpha with x, uh, where x is an object of C, and alpha is uh, an element of f and x for some n. And morphisms from x alpha to y beta uh, is, uh, note that uh, alpha can be regarded as a map of pressives like this. The um, amorphism between them is a commutative diagram. Like this, for some structured map, simply shell structured map sheet. And and uh, a suitable definition of topology, we have the following lemma. Let there be a pressive of complexes of abelian gr groups, complex of abelian groups on C, then uh, the home set in homotopy category of simple shell pressures on C from F to A, F to the island macroid space of A, is uh, naturally isomorphic to home set of homotopy category. Uh, Maybe derived category of the site of fiber over F from Z to A. Yes. So this is just hypercohomology of of A in this site. So con thanks to this lemma. To construct uh, GI, GRL to KGI in homotopy category of simple shell pressives on MSM star is equivalent to construct GI, 
v to k gi ah gi rel in the derived category of uh, msm star fiber of xrl Okay, let's do it. Uh, I think uh, such observation is immediate, of, uh, is immediate if uh, XRL is representable in this category, but now it's not representable, so we need some, uh, we need some care. And we have to work such a big category, I guess. Okay, uh, next we explain projective bundle formula. In our setting. Okay. So, let EGL R to be the universal vector bundle universal vector bundle of rank R over K and uh, let P EGL R associated uh, project bundle. And uh, throw it back by the inclusion and uh, then we get a project bundle uh, denoted by P I in this category MSM star over XRL. Then uh, the pull back, uh, push forward by this map makes sense. This is a uh, uh, this makes sense. It's a it's again a pressure from uh, this category. Uh, it sends it just sends x d to z i. P X R minus one, P D R minus one. Yeah, it, this is a press shift like uh, like this with it, and the press shift structure is uh, a little bit complicated with a tricky press shift structure. Okay, then uh, our projective under formula is stated as follows. Projective under formula, uh, there is an isomorphism from GILL to P star ZRL in, in the derived category of the big, big, this big side. Okay. Uh, to, to prove this, uh, we have to use moving grammar. Uh, use uh, so to, to construct this map, uh, we, uh, we use the moving lemma with, in the modular state setting. With modulus. Uh, this is by Kai Wataru. Uh, so that's the reason why we need Nisnevich topology. We need Nisnevich topology. S 
So we, if we constructed uh, a nice map, uh, then uh, we can show this is an isomorphism by using projective bundle for naive child groups with modulus. I mean, this is not so difficult to prove. This was known. R minus one, P, R minus one, N. And this is done by Krishna and the Park. Okay. Shall I? No, R. It's yeah, uh, and here's n for for any n. But uh, note that uh, the, this proposition does not imply does not imply that projective form bundle formula for Nisnevich. Nisnevich child group with modulus. Does not imply. Because uh, we have used naive push forward here, not derived one, so we cannot uh, deduce such projective bundle formula. We expect such formula, but I guess it's difficult to prove it. Okay, this is our projective bundle formula. And the final step is uh, construct a non-trivial map, because R G to P star G R L in, again, the, our site. Okay. Uh, this is this. This corresponds to the R's power of the cohomology class of the canonical line bundle of of the cohomology class can, canonical line bundle on. P E G L R. So uh, we cannot uh, construct G I Z P star G I L. We cannot uh, we cannot construct for I is smaller than R because uh, canonical line boundary is a is something like hyperplane, and uh, this uh, this does not satisfy mo the modulus condition. This does uh, this meets with the divisor. So uh, canonical line boundary does not uh, define map in the modular setting. But if we take R's, R's power, uh, we can define a natural map. <laughs> this. So yes, uh, then uh, if we construct such map, uh, the Chang, uh, our uh, our Chang classes is the composite of P like this. This is a projective bundle formula, and this is a projection. SGI is the composite <coughs> of this. One. So. Uh, let me explain the construction briefly. Uh, the key point. Let me explain the key point. Uh, let H1 to HR be hi the standard hyperplanes. Hyperplanes 
on the project view bundle. Then take naive intersection. Okay, uh, it's uh, yes for for zero part it's just a, a hyperplane by uh, okay let's take a coordinate and the standard that hyperplane is defined by taking some coordinates from x zero to x r and this is defined by x uh, maybe x from x one to x r. This is defined x1 equals 0 in, in, in degree 0. And uh, yes, um, it, it's a simplicial scheme, so we have to care a little bit. Uh, but we, we can take a lift of uh, this hyperplane as an element of Chow group, uh, as a cy cycles. So uh, it's, it's not, uh, yes. It's not precise, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is a this is a family some family of G I P E G L R N N like like this. Ah, so N. And the, uh, the zero part is defined by the by the hyperplane section, just the hyperplane section. And uh, then we take the naive intersection of them. Uh, I mean, just take the intersection itself. So it may not be, uh, it's not well defined in general, but uh, this is well def defined uh, over some non empty open subset. VGLR star of VGLR. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, right. Yes. And uh, then we have an, uh, we have, uh, yes. This is represented by some cycles. P E G L star. So this mean this satisfies phase condition like this. Yeah. Ah, this is a product of uh, E G L star. Then the key, the essential fact is of ah, uh, wait. And <laughs> and suppose given an element uh, XRL, this is an element of our site. Suppose given an uh, element and uh, with some simple cell structured map. Then the key fact, key lemma is uh, the pullback uh, of this cycle satisfies the uh, phase condition and the modulus condition. The phase. Uh, so this means this is an er er very defined element of uh, GR, PR, with something is all. Uh, so we have to put X theta, uh, uh, X pullback of B. VGLR star by this map and uh, X C the star and uh, this contains D the divisor. 
this satisfies the modulus condition and the phase condition. Yes. Then we can obtain a map, the desired map, uh, around, around the divisor D. And uh, outside of D, uh, we can use uh, classical technique by broth, uh, and uh, by combining them, we, we obtain the desired map. OK. This is. This is This is a sketch of the construction. So I want to sh show some application of our Chan character, Chan class. Application. So let k be a field of characteristic zero, and uh, a be a Henselian DVR over k, and uh, let phi be a uniformizer of a, and set uh, x spec a and d spec. A over phi. Then we have proved. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, we have a chunk character. Uh, in like this. Chi. This is a uh, spirit in injective, spirit injective with with the coconer, coconer, as with the coconer, coconer is the kernel of C H C H X. MD N to CH X N MQ. So we hope uh, this, this vanishes in the up to, uh, up to isogeny. Proof. First, we show we show a lemma for k series, uh, the canonical map from k a to k uh, so maybe x now uh, k m d is a polyepimorphism. Okay, we can prove this uh, because uh, using the assumption as Henselian local link, Henselian DVR. And uh, then we have a short exact sequence. Of pro abelian groups like this. And uh, we have a uh, chunk character here, usual chunk character here. Uh, so maybe we tensor Q at every, every point. And this is an isomorphism. Uh, we have constructed chunk character here. Uh, so it's H N. We have constructed a chunk character here, which makes diagram commutative. So, and then by a simple diagram chase, the theorem is reduced to show 
alpha alpha ch minus one beta equals zero. Okay, five minutes. So let's. Yes, it suffices to show uh, this composite is zero. Uh, to prove it, uh, we use use uh, cycle cycle map cycle cycle map from Chow group with modulus to drum cohomology with modulus. So uh, this is uh, so yes, this is a cohomology of drum complex with modulus E S like this, and this is just uh, omega x. Uh, omega x m d is just omega j x log d tensor a pi m. And this, this is uh, def uh, constructed by Binder Saito. So by using this map, uh, we can show that the the drum realization. Uh, so maybe drum MD just just highlight and see uh, using this map uh, and this this cycle map uh, we can show theta c equals zero. And it's that, uh, easy to show that uh, KND, uh, KND, C dash, C dash, it's straightforward to show this is zero. And uh, then using uh, good will is technique, we can prove theta is zero. Uh, this completes the proof of the theorem. And we get the theorem. Uh, okay, that's all what I wanted to say. Thank you. Yes, but the quality divisor is not reduced. It's not, uh, we don't assume. Um, take, take, take a, a ring with a no potent ideal. Mm -hmm. no, no, no what? No potent. A new potent, okay. Yes, so you cannot get a quality divisor to cut out a no potent ideal. Uh, yes, but uh, the point is, uh, yeah, if, Yes, but uh, this uh, this group uh, should be fit into the diagram uh, like like this, like this. So yes, and this uh, this is definitely different from C H D. Well, we don't have def definition of this guy, but uh, it is. Uh, Definitely different from reduced one, so we know some. Uh, how can I say yes? Uh, it's it's different from the reduced one, and uh, yeah. But uh, yes.
So we, I can say anything precise, but 